<laughs> so uh, talking of young leaders, of course, we'll think entrepreneurs, so we will comply with the entrepreneurship uh, side of it. Uh, we, our two next uh, uh, presenters uh, are entrepreneurs. Uh, we will start uh, with uh, Liang Wu, who is the uh, co-founder and chief information officer of Green City Solutions in Germany, and uh, that is focused on air depollution. So uh, please go ahead. Just take this one. Thank you. I'll stand on the left side. Right. So can you imagine that 90% of all people are breathing polluted air every day? And did you know that this causes more than 7 million premature deaths annually? Right? You didn't know that. I bet you didn't know that. And for every breath of polluted air that you or your family, family are taking, it means that your life expectancy is shortened. So for my family in China, that probably means that their life expectancy was shortened by more than 10 years already. And most people talking about air pollution, they still have pictures of Asia in mind or of Africa in mind. But the annual economic damage due to air pollution in Europe alone amounts to 1.48 billion euros every year. Okay? And the problem of air pollution is it's invisible to the human eye. But it's also directly related to climate change. And with this picture, which is not perfect, I agree, I wanted to show you that we young people, we are not only marching on the streets, right? We're still young, we're multitasking uh, capable. So apart from marching on the streets, which we did actually three weeks ago, we're also working on a solution. But with this picture, I also want to show you that we cannot do it alone. It's the diversity that makes it happen. So different nationalities, different ages, different genders. That's what makes up my team and what drives innovation in this case. When we started four years ago, we were four co-founders and um, four dudes. We covered the fields of architecture, mechanical engineering, uh, horticulture biology, and me personally, I have an IT background. And one of our professors uh, told us that plants are actually capable of cleaning the air. So we did some research and we have discovered that there is a technology millions of years old capable of solving the, pollution, pollu uh, the problem partially. So we have discovered special moss cultures, which we patented in our own system, which are literally able to eat up the air pollution and convert it into biomass. So those moss cultures, they have probabilities. They have a uh, static charge, which, uh, which attract the opposite charged pollution particles. They have an increased leaf surface, which means they are capable of uh, capturing more pollution than any other plant. And they are also ca uh, capable of evaporating water on the leaf surface and creating a cooling effect. So this is a climate mitigation um, tool that we're talking about. So the solution has to be found, right? Um, moss can clean up pollution, um, more than 80% of it in our system. That's it? No. So we combine this natural solution with our own IoT technology. And this IoT technology consists of sensors which measure the pollution levels, which measure uh, the humidity in the plants and also the water conditions. And this augments the system to be capable of filtering the 80% uh, I just told you about. But our approach is not only building a product, it's a holistic approach. So with the sensors, we collect the data, we analyze the conditions in the street canyons, in the cities, we analyze where pollution is coming from, we do research on biology itself, on the plants itself, um, and only with the help of all, all these different uh, departments, institutions, corporates, we're able to come up with this, and it's called the city tree. Well, the name might still change, but it's the, prob uh, the product um, that, that counts. So five years of experience have uh, gone into this development. And um, originally, I wanted to talk more about this, but this isn't supposed to be a product pitch. So I just shortened it to the version where we can adapt that MOS to any infrastructure. We can adapt it to the building facades. Uh, we can even make it portable. We can build a smaller version for indoors. Uh, to put in people's homes. 
But our original um, approach was that we wanted to provide a solution to the people in the city which cannot afford to have um, an isolated space, the elderly and the young people who suffer most from air pollution. And we are not profitable yet, I have to be honest with you. We are not um, able to grow as a young company in such a fast pace, and maybe, Peter, you can help me out on that later on. <laughs> um, and big support was also coming from the European Union, and uh, I wanted to highlight one of their funding programs, which is called Horizon 2020, and with their help and their funding, we will be able to create the first hyper-local clean air zone in Berlin next year. And this is also an invitation to all of you, because we at Green City Solutions, we do not only grow clean and fresh air, but we also engage global leaders. And this is why I'm really happy that I was invited to speak here and for this opportunity. Thank you, Patrick. And uh, as you can see, I'm still missing on those pictures. So um, if anybody of you has time, come visit us in Berlin. Um, I'm more than willing to show you what young people are willing and capable of doing. And maybe um, a picture of you and me showing the city tree will be uh, replaced. Uh, next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Leon, for covering many aspects and show um, how um, almost holistic is the view, because it's not only about uh, you want to develop sustainable solution, and I think it's a very important part of the young generation. It's not just the climate, as you say. It has to work and it has to be sustainable. Yeah.